plan, I promise you results are going to be 110% guaranteed, but you also got to ask yourself, why do you want to lose this weight? Yo, what's good guys? This is Hicks, MMA Fitness, and have you seen from the two clips? Pretty dramatic difference, right? First clip, I was around 230 pounds. And the second clip, I'm around, currently around 202, 203 pounds. Basically, I've almost lost 30 pounds. And why do I do this? It's because I just wanted to be the best version of myself. And not only that, I still have a long way to go. And a little bit before I get into how I lost 30 pounds, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I was big growing up. Um, you know, throughout my life, I gained weight, lost weight, gained weight, lost weight, gained weight, lost weight. But the heaviest I've ever been was 230 pounds. And that was during COVID. But I haven't been 230 pounds in like almost two years. So once I hit 230, around that time in my life i didn't like i felt it i did not feel good i feel really like shitty about myself and not only that it didn't help that i was going through a really dark time through my life due to personal reasons why i couldn't train and i'm not gonna lie i just coped with food <laughs> if we can keep it real uh, i was weak for a moment and you know things started go back in my way and I started to you know take life back in my own hands you know life was kicking my ass now I'm kicking life's ass so I'm telling you like the main thing that's gonna help you lose like lose weight is consistency yeah you know you got your diet change and you know you can work out but if you're not if you don't have that core foundation of consistency you're you're not gonna lose shit like nothing's gonna change i promise you that been there done that you gotta ask yourself why you want to lose weight and your why has to be really strong where you're not gonna cheat yourself you're gonna get this done well one way or another and you also gotta change up your diet you know you can't you know you need to stop eating you know bullshit like processed food um you know juices with a bunch of sugar pretty much like pastries all that is garbage and mind you if you have a severe food addiction you can't just go cold turkey again i've been there so you really have to cut the shit out little by little and not only that you know use some substitutes for example let's say if you're used you know you're eating oatmeal every day right but you just pour regular syrup and you don't measure it and you don't measure it you know how much like calorie you know how much carbs and sugar it is in one tablespoon of syrup it's about like 30 to 40 grams correct me if i'm wrong but basically you know say using regular syrup syrup you like sugar-free syrup you know little changes like that is like it, you're gonna notice the difference throughout the long run now, i'm telling you it comes back to that core foundation of consistency so you really want to be consistent with this and if you're just starting out you know look as losing a pound look as the victory you know these small wins create these small wins i lost one pound this week i lost a, you know let's say you lose four pounds in one month that you're four pounds lighter you know from where you were before so just look at those small victories as wins and another thing i'll say you really want to hire a personal trainer for that accountability guys i don't care what nobody says you like i'm telling you i've been down that road oh i'll do it myself whatever you have no one holding you accountable so it's so it's so easy for you just to slack off oh i'm gonna eat like shit one day oh, i'll get back into it they will eat shit like another day another another and the next day the next day the next day the next day and then you just fall off 
your weight loss journey. And again, you have to build that core foundation of consistency. <laughs> consistency. You, you guys get what I mean. So, and I'm telling you, uh, right, right now, guys, personal training, you know, getting a nutritionist, it's not cheap. It's not. And that's going to be the biggest, biggest excuse. Oh, we got, oh, I have a lot of bills. This is expensive. And I get it. You know, life gets in the way. But trust me, people make time for things that they really want. Like, you're willing to spend $1,000 on an iPhone, but yet you won't spend at least like $500 on your own health. Trust me, people make time for what they want. <laughs> I promise you, and I'm telling you, it might seem a lot of money right now, but if you just invest that money into a personal trainer, I promise you, you will thank yourself in the long run. Your future self will thank you. I swear to God. And it is just a beautiful journey. And not only that, um, also you want to meal prep as well too, because for me, when I would just lose weight. There would be times where I didn't meal prep and I'll just like fuck up, I'll eat like shit. So, you know, having that accountability and also having that trainer holding you accountable and plus meal prepping and getting on a regular you know, exercise regimen, you're guaranteed results 110%. You also wanna get some good adequate sleep. You also wanna hydrate as well you're gonna feel good so yeah guys um, this is pretty much how I lost 30 pounds basically and yeah you know there's no substitute there's no cheat code you gotta put in the hard work if you really want something you'll do it I promise you so like comment share subscribe and also, um, it will definitely help out the algorithm so I can reach more people who want to get into martial arts and fitness. With that being said, this is Hicks, MMA Fitness, signing out. Peace. Bye.